A book has just been published in America. The title of that book is The Hundred, alternatively described as the top hundred or the greatest hundred in history. The author is a certain Michael H. Hart, described as an astronomer and a mathematician. This American, he goes out of his way to search in history for the hundred most influential men from Adam alayhi salam, from Adam up to current times. And he gives us a list of those hundred most influential men according to his reasoning. He gives reasons behind every person that he chooses. Why he chose this number one and why he chose that number 30 and why he chose that number 100, he gives you reasons. And the amazing thing about his list is this, that number one on his list, you can guess, is Muhammad sallallahu And the shocking thing about his list is this, that his own Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is number three. His own Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is number three, not even number two. And he gives his reasons for that also. He said, you see, the honor for Christianity or whatever it is, is to be divided between Paul and Christ. And he said that the real founder of Christianity is not Jesus Christ, is Saint Paul. He wrote more books. The New Testament consists of 27 books, out of which more than half, 14 are written by this one man, Paul, Saint Paul, the self-appointed apostle of Jesus, self-appointed. He didn't go and choose him. He chose 12, but the self-appointed apostle and Paul, he wrote 14 out of 27 books, more than half. And everything that the Christian is preaching today is not the preachings of Jesus, are not the teachings of Jesus, are the teachings of Paul. See, whenever we are having an argument with the Christian, we are asking him, do you keep the laws and the commandments? Because Jesus said so. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He said, whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments or shall teach men so shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Do you keep the laws and the commandments? He says, no. So why don't you? So he says, no, the law is nailed to the cross. So we are now living under grace. So where did you get that? So he says, Corinthians, Philippians, Galatians. So what's all that? Who's that? He says, this Paul, Paul, Paul. So what did your master say? No, they don't talk about the master, Jesus. But they don't talk about him. Paul, Paul, Paul. If they contradict you in anything, it's Paul. The real founder of Christianity is Saint Paul.